Hi guys, welcome to another video of Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today we're talking about Eventide iOS plugins. Like they are releasing three of them. Uh, the first one is Black Hole, I talked in my other video, and the next one I'm going to talk about is Ultra Tap. Now, those who know Eventide know that Ultra Tap already exists as a plugin on the computer. Uh, it's part of the uh, Anthology bundle. Um, it's a really fun... Uh, all of these, um, I would say, modern plugins that they have, uh, part of the H9 series, I would say, they're kind of... Uh, they look simple, but they're, like, wickedly powerful. I mean, they're just uh, bizarre in a way because they look simple, but what you can do with it when you understand the knobs... Um, they're really, really, really powerful. I was uh, privileged enough to play with the beta and was able to do some presets that we will talk about and play back at the end of this video. So you can see the preset that should be bundled with the official released. Uh, at least that's what they told me. So ultra tap, what it is. Let's actually dive in. Uh, mix is a, a control between the original sound and the effect. So it's a balance between the two. Let's actually play something. So you hear the snare sound, original snare, just the effects. Okay, so you can play with that. The length is the length before the taps. Now to understand how this works, um, let's actually look at the manual is really well done. If you don't know what these are doing and you're wondering what is taps, what is pre-delay, what is spread, is it left or right? No, it's not. Spread is the time or how the, the taps are spread around time. So it, you press on the little I over here and you'll get the information about ultra tap controls. So, uh, and, but sometimes some of the information, I mean, you need to really get it. So it's, it's obvious. So first of all, you've got the mix, which is the mix between dry and effects. The length is um, the time of, be, of the taps, you know. Um, then the taps is how many taps these gonna play. So let's try, try the simple one. Let's say we say we have just one. I'm gonna do something very simple. Get rid of all this. I'll put this zero, so you hear. You have one tap. Get rid of the pre-delay. That's five. The width is wide. Put it one. We have thirty taps at the same time. So if you keep it on just a very fixed value, it becomes like really, uh, I would say almost machine gun-like. Um, but what is fun is you, know, you start to play with the free delay. Spread. Let's bring it down. The spread. Spread is interesting is when you use spread in a minus value, it actually bring all most of the taps in the beginning of the effects. So it's just like they're there and then you get just one delay. Or the other way, if you put it on the other side in positive values, you're gonna get them at the end of the sound. At the end, at the beginning, okay. Of the delay. The difference. Then we get the tapper. Tapper. Tapper is a. They talk about it like a fade in, fade out, but if you want to think about it in another way, uh, the tapper will bring, what you're gonna get is just the attack and then you're gonna have a decay on each of the taps. Or the other way, if you put a, a negative value for the tapper, what you're gonna get is a fade in. So you're gonna have a sound coming in. So it sounds like it's reversed.
synth out. It sounds like it's in reverse. And just have separate attacks. And you have a quick DK. You hear a longer range sound. Then you have. So the spread is really about how it's going to spread through time, and the tapper is uh, like a attack or decay on each of the different taps, if you want. The width is uh, left and right, basically. And the other way around. Of course, bit beside width, you've got uh, the tempo sync, which is for uh, the length. If you have it at off, you go value from zero to 10 seconds. In between, you've got milliseconds all to 10 seconds. Whereas if you're in ma and sync, it's synced to the tempo of the song. And with the value you have here, a manual is still a, a tempo value, but it's not synced to the beat of the song. So you're going to have a manual value there. OK, so now let's go back to sync in, in this one here. You're going to have tone here, uh, which is basically um, kind of an EQ where you have more high frequencies uh, and uh, it's a little bit duller or darker if you want, less high frequencies. So, like muffled. Clear. Okay. And I learned a word, slurm. I just found that word bizarre, slurm. It sounds like sloppy and just like a slurm. Um, what it does is actually, I, I would say it becomes a little bit sloppy in this case, is when you play it, it's not, it becomes messier and not as, uh, a little bit more chaotic and more, I would say with min, uh, modulation, which is cool because it, it gives more of a wider pad uh, delay background sound. If you listen to the snare, you get the snare, and then you get that that sound moving at the back. So it's really interesting. Zero, very clear. And slurm is just like sloppy in the back, moving a bit uh, diffused in a way. Then you have this thing here, which is called chop. Now these two these two are a little bit funky because you've got chop and depending on where you're moving and the way it's going to chop the sound, the other value here, speed, will change. So you can chop in, you're not chopping at all, you're chopping in a triangular waveform. So the shape is going to chop, the sawtooth. So it's going to be basically how it's going to go up and down and the way it's going to chop the value, uh, the sound. And then you get the speed of the way it's going to chop. So let's listen to that. Less. Yeah, square, a bit more nasty, and we're gonna drop. Ramp up, saw. You know, swell. And then different, there's different uh, modes of swelling. And then you got trigger. So it's it's very 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 powerful and. If you think of all of these things now, if you listen to some of the presets, um, let's go into another artist presets. With, uh, like they have one, one here, like I find it creates a new rhythm right away, and it's super cool the way it's gonna move. You need headphones for this, and it's left and right. It's really nice. Some of just like bizarre stuff. Gives you just a wider sound. There's like glitch. Now 
there's something really interesting that you need to understand and how the UltraTap and all the H9 series uh, plugin from Evitite work is you have at the bottom here the ribbon. And the ribbon, if you click on one side, you can say this, this is the value on it. And on the other side, this is the other side of the value. You see that the little like blue line here. So when you're gonna move this, the sound will change in real time, which is really interesting. Totally changed the way it's gonna react. Okay, so that's really the cool thing about the ribbon at the bottom. And uh, you can actually record that movement so it can be recorded um, in real time. So there's a lot of different examples. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Some are some of them really bizarre. Um, you can you do your own presets, and um, there's also the um, the art, artist presets. Uh, so some of them are really here, are already here, and mine should also be there. I'm gonna play them on the, my Mac because the Ultra Tab. When I created these presets, I did not have the option of saving them and sending them because I used a, an earlier beta. So let's switch to the Mac version. So if we're using the Ultra Tap on, on the computer, it's basically the same. You've got the same thing. You can move left and right. You can have your uh, length. So these are the ones I prepared for them. Uh, I found them interesting. Like this one becomes like a little, uh, you can play with the length. And when you play with this, those two little of a so you have this first one. What else do we have? We have here that little can tune it. A bit like a talk. What is that noise? That's my computer noise. It's just amazingly loud. Listen to this. You hear this? This is my Mac. Now, I really like my Mac, it works well, but damn, that is so noisy. That is one of the reasons I prefer using my iPad. It doesn't make any, any background ventilation noise like that, it's just...
So that's it. That's uh, Ultra Tap from Eventide now on the iOS. And it's just uh, a simple, yet yeah, very powerful. Actually, it's not simple. It looks simple. But uh, some of these features are just uh, really, really, really powerful. Now, so if you like to play with delays and taps and kind of that spring sound and give it some movement because you have that control over that. And I mean, it just uh, is fun to play with. So try it out um, if you like it. And uh, if you like the presets I did, just tell me, put it in the comments and I'll be happy to maybe make some more because you can actually share them. So I could just like uh, share them with you if, uh, if people are into that. Thank you even tight for uh, letting me play with that having access to the beta first and see what this was, uh, you know, testing it out on my iPad and hope to have new stuff coming from Eventide soon. Cheers, guys. See you soon.